What is going on guys? I'm Self Destruct and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I edit my videos, how I put them together, how I add commentary, add music, etc. Uh, and I guess we should start with a new project. So for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to go with the one that I usually use which is the PlayStation 4 theme. So when I've clicked on, when I've clicked on that you'll basically get a selection of all your clips. Uh, this is going to go back a long oh, way. Yeah. At the top, it will have the PlayStation 4 intro. So if I uh, play that, uh, you also have like a title, which is just where you can place text. You've also got an outro, uh, which I like to use. And uh, I'm going to use all four of these. And what you want to do is, you, if you want to deselect them, you just click X on which ones you don't want, and then you press X again to. Uh, select them. I usually like to get rid of the intro and and so it's the title right in the beginning, then the outro, then the share factory clip, and that's what we're going to do now. You press square to start project, and then you can rename your project. Uh, I'm going to rename it. Um, what should I what should I name it? Let's do share factory. Tutorial. Uh, once you've done that, you just continue, and here we are, the menu. Now, a big mistake a lot of people uh, make when they first start their videos is they don't get rid of this default text and uh, logo that's there. Obviously, you can see my PSN. Uh, I'm not going to add everyone, but yeah, that's my PSN, eat my battlefield. Uh, you can be nosy if you want and see what trophies I've got. Um, but what you want to do to get rid of this text at the beginning, because it's kind of bland and you really don't want your PSN, you want your YouTube name, unless they're the same, obviously. Uh, but either way, what you're going to do is you're going to press square to bring up the edit menu. So this is like the edit menu. Uh, here you can kind of split clips, uh, which I'll go into later. But for now, we're going to get rid of the text. Now, if you go into edit effects, you can then press square to uh, scroll through different effects. Now, you then click X on this one. Um, you can transform it, you can move it about. So you can use this if you're adding any more text. Um, if I press X, you can change the opacity, which is how like faded it is. You can also change color, which I like to do, change it like yellow or black or whatever. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are going to just click delete. We're gonna get rid of this, and we're also gonna get rid of this. Uh, and then we'll also get rid of the sticker as well. Now, since I'm making a title screen, uh, I'm using the right stick to kind of scroll through it. And I'm going to go right to the beginning and press X. And this brings up the uh, add menu, I guess. And we're going to add effects. So when you're in the effects menu, yeah, that's my uh, your avatar for your PlayStation account will come up in the top left. And then you'll also have uh, theme stickers. So if it's a PlayStation, you have all the buttons and things. If it's like The Last of Us, it might be something to do with uh, zombies, like Battle of Hardline, you, you get the idea. You've also got like filters, uh, which change the uh, colours and stuff. Layouts, you can do this kind of for outros, so you can have like that. So you have gameplay in the background and then like a bit of text around the outside. But yeah, we're going to go straight into text now. Uh, there's quite a bit of text here. Uh, this is kind of the, the, the basic one, and I'm going to call it share factory tutorial now it sure doesn't look that bold but i can position it how i want and if i go back into edit effects i can select this one again and i want to change it to red because why not um so you want to then maybe at w another well i don't know if we add in the first bit of text at zero seconds and then at one second we add in another bit of text so let's add like a big load of text. This is a really big text and I'm going to say um, how to guide. Just kind of an example of, I'm going to make it all caps, how to guide. If it even fits. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so that's going to that's gonna be it for our little intro. Now, I also like to add music to my intro and what we're going to do is we're going to go straight to the beginning uh, so we're going to scroll right to the beginning and press X. So pressing X brings up our add menu. So what we're going to do is we're going to get to add music. Now I have actually got a lot of imported music from uh, 
USB stick, which you could just put straight into the front of the PS4. Uh, I got a bit of Pegboard Nerds, Tobu, Arix, etc. But we're going to go to Category and just click uh, Share Factory because I don't want any copyright on this video. I don't have to have all the links and the description. So I'm going to choose, um, let's choose Not a Machine. So we're gonna click on that. You can also press R2 to listen to what it is. I'll do that now. <laughs> Yep, okay, we're going to click that. And what you'll get now is your whole video after the, the, the first clip. Uh, it'll go like this, and that's not good because it's going to make your video 3 minutes 12 or however long the video is. So what you want to do is press square to bring up the edit menu, and you want to split the music. So what you do is position it uh, before the next clip starts. So we'll split it there. And then you press square to delete the rest of the music and then confirm. So now you haven't got any of that weird, confusing, uh, random clips they came up with. That was a really good description. Uh, so now we're going to press square over the music, doesn't matter where you do it. And we're going to make it fade in uh, and you can change how far you fade in. So three seconds of fade in and fade out, we'll do five seconds so we listen to what that's like and then at the end now you've got your intro and uh, now what you want to do is you want to add some clips so you're going to click on add clip and as you can see uh, um, you can then uh, choose the category you want so you can sort them. So I'm going to go with by game. I can choose different games. And um, what should we do? Uh, let's have a bit of Destiny. So I've got sort maxed out clips in the 15 minutes. Um, which one should I go for? Let's just uh, click on this one. So once you've clicked, uh, you can cl you can click loads of clips, but it doesn't mean it will work. Um, and then when you're done, you've clicked all the ones you want in the order, you then press square to add them. For the sake of this video, I'm actually going to turn down the, uh, the clip volume from this gameplay, uh, just so that when I play uh, the video, uh, you'll still be able to hear me uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, so what you do is press square to bring up the edit menu again, you get to clip volume and you can turn that down, I'll turn it down to zero, so it's just completely muted. Now, once you've got this, what you might want to do is cut out some of the boring bits, and that's where a lot of montages and you know stuff that that's where it will come in handy. So we've got this like a few kills here, a uh, few kills, and then we've got this pit bit here in the gameplay where we don't have that much going on. So what I'm going to do is go backwards. And once we kill this enemy, let's get the point there. We're going to press Square to bring up the edit menu and click on Split Clip. So press X. Uh, and then we'll split it. So then we'll get to the point where it gets interesting again. Uh, I guess here, we'll press uh, X again. And then once you've done that, you want to get rid of the clip, which was the boring bit. And you, all you do is hover over it and press square. And then it'll say delete clip and you just press confirm. So now you've got this kind of nice little skip. But you also, if it, this is a montage, you want to have a transition as well. So you're going to bring up the add menu, you're going to press X and go to add transition. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, when we bring that up, we've got quite a few different kinds of transitions. Like you've got dissolves, so that looks like that on the screen. You've got fade from black, uh, you've got fade to black, which takes quite a long time to do. And then I like to use this one quite a lot near the end of the videos to kind of round it off. It just kind of goes black and then fades through. You also got wipes, which are kind of like these. These don't look too good unless you're making a kind of PlayStation themed video. Uh, it's kind of uh, not the best looking. Like some of these are okay, like the ones like these. But when they've got kind of the ba the bands, uh, it doesn't usually look too good. I would not suggest using these ones. And then you've also got the cinematic ones and these are the ones you're going to want these are really cool uh, I'll show you this one 
So I have used these ones in previous videos, some of the old montages, but I also found that uh, they're not particularly uh, good for kind of making fast paced montages. A lot of these transitions, they're very long. So I don't know, I, I quite like to use this, uh, the, this one, which is cross fade. So we're gonna click that one. And uh, let me just turn down the volume of this clip. When you split it, it will actually turn up the volume. So let's play this. This will look quite nice now. There we go. So that's that's a basic thing of how you add uh, transitions. Uh, what so I'm going to show you is how you can kind of move clips, trim them, and do a lot of different things with them. So if I grab uh, this clip here, which is where I kind of sprint. Oh, this one actually. You see this one? Uh, this one's a bit better. Uh, that's why I shotgun that dude. And uh, we're going to bring the edit menu. And as you see here, we've got split and we've got trim. Now, what trim does is it brings this menu up where you can use the right stick to choose how long you want the clips to be, uh, like moving further ahead in time in the clip, and use the left stick to move it back in time a bit more. So we're going to say make it a bit, I don't know, let's say, let's just keep it the same, but that's just showing you what it actually is. I've obviously trimmed it a little bit here, or made it longer. Uh, I'll use the same clip to move it. Now what you want to do is, when you've got this, is you use the L1 and R1 buttons to kind of move it across so it kind of skips past all the different clips. So I can put that, like, right at the beginning here. As you can see. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for this video, guys. Remember, if you've got any specific requests you want for Share Factory or anything else PlayStation related, uh, make sure you drop a comment down below and I'll be sure to uh, answer it at some point. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.